have my screen up yet for those of you that are asking. I've looked for longs, I've looked for shorts, and I, I mean, I, I'm, I am actually shocked <laughs> in the last five, six days, week that since earning season has started about the level of quality of earning scaps. I am absolutely, absolutely, absolutely shocked. Now it's only one week into the start of earnings, but I could not be more surprised how low quality we are seeing here so far in within the first week. I, I'm, I'm utterly shocked. I mean, so I, I, we're gonna watch this, but there's no promises here. I don't know if this is gonna set up right. So starting to back up, I looked at every single earnings. I looked at longs, I looked at shorts, I looked at everything. My view and opinion has not changed on the market for those of you that are wondering as well, or Boeing or anything else, but I'm utterly, utterly, utterly shocked about the level of quality here in the last six days. So I know we had a great play yesterday. If this does not set up right today, I have no, no other picks whatsoever at all. And we're not going on the market. So Google is out tonight. Boeing is tomorrow, I think, I have to double check it. Um, so we, we'll have stuff this week, but there is really slim pickings here today in either directions. So know that. Well, I mean, let's not, we're not judging on just the uh, the IBM ones, Jackie, necessarily, and Netflix, but, I mean, Netflix is a strong stock. This is not. Um, but this has had a rally and completely flipped last week. So, you know, looking at this, could this do the same thing? Maybe. I mean, we're going to watch it. And I'm probably going to be conservative on the entry here just because of what happened with the IBM last week. So we'll, we'll see. This is worth watching. I like it. Um, I will say one last thing here, though, as far as this is just a general comment for the week, because Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon all affect the market in a massive way normally. They're all reporting this week on different days, okay? One thing I will say is that if even one, one of those stocks bombs on the earnings, the market will sell off. So I don't know if any of them were bomb. I don't know if all of them were bomb. I don't know if none of them will bomb. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm telling you, if even one of them sells off in a big, big way this week, the market will collapse. So that's something to watch out for. And the first one's tonight. We had a good day yesterday. But again, we didn't, that wasn't an earnings trade. So I'm, I'm, all, I'm really shocked. I mean, earnings last weeks and weeks and weeks. We'll be trading earnings into the end of May. But I'm just saying, like, very strange. I should have 20 things here right now that I like. Five at least. I'm lucky I got one. It's weird. Strange. We're gonna go, we're gonna see if this sits up right. Did Ford have earnings? I didn't I didn't look at anything with that. Yesterday was a good day. Boeing was a nice short. I know that's up today, but you just have to move off of it. I'm not doing anything with that today. All of a sudden now this is getting really spready. MMM, I mean, I really looked at everything. I will relook at some of this stuff, but No, this is a bullish gap. I don't want to go along this. No, I wouldn't be surprised if this sells off.
But if the market rallies today, this could rally only with the market as it's along. Remember, we're looking for something alone, good in its own, that doesn't need the market. Market's very tricky, and that's all I'm going to say about that, because I don't want to keep reiterating the same thing I've said every day for the last three weeks, because no one believes me anymore. So one day you'll get up and see I'm right. Until then, we'll just won't talk about it. I already looked at MRK. All right, so we're watching this here, and it's very spready. And so we're gonna have to be wide with this. Stopping this is gonna be 99.85. And I don't have the entry yet, but 99.85. And you have to give this plenty, plenty of room, so just trust me on that. 99.85 and I don't have the entry yet, just wait. More this sells off, the better here. Okay, we can do, let's do, let's do 29 by 85, 29 by 85, 29, here, take it, just get it. Don't worry about where you got filled, it's gonna go. Get the stop in right now. This hit, this hit, here. And don't worry about how you got filled. This is what it is, it's gonna roll over. Here it goes, here it goes. First, I really think 95 is the target on this now that this hit. 97 will watch, 96, 95. Here it goes. God, we're, this is, we're on pace here this week now because this may not have set up. Just make sure you have the stop in at 85. And when we're done, we'll go over this for the people here in the trial. If you're here for a trial, you should be observing, not trading. Here we go. UPS. I mean, just look at the market. Yep. No one believes me. Thank God I have conviction. Thank God I know what I'm talking about. I'm sure no one here believes me. Doesn't matter to me. Watch the market sell off. One day you are gonna roll out of bed and you're gonna say, this girl is a genius. I don't know when that is. Could be today, could be tomorrow, could be Friday, could be next week. Jackie believes me. All right, let's take a look at this and make sure the stop is right. Do, 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 do. Man, now it's 45 cents spread. All right, just because this keeps wiggling and jiggling in the spread, I'm gonna give this a tad bit more room. Let's put it over 100. Let's put it at 100.15, simply because of the wiggles and jiggles in the spread here. 100.15, move it. You're only giving this slightly more, slightly more. This is not, shouldn't be a big deal if you size yourself right, given the fact that this was a big stock to begin with. 100.15, and that's it. If this goes over 100, we're gonna get blown out. So let's see. I think this is gonna go. We've got the market going right now too, which is good for this. Not that I would prefer to have needed it. So again, target in here, again, 97, 96, 95. And if you didn't do it, you could hit it in here and probably get a better fill. Yeah, this is gonna fall through, but it's a little, little jiggling. Time of the day here is 9.33. And again, if you didn't do this, you could do it at 99. Stop though is 100.15. Here, this is gonna go. Here, let's stay with this. Here we go, we're getting it down. Whatever it is, it is. We don't have anything else to do today, so we gotta get out of this with profit. Even though, theoretically, this could come all the way down in here, and here, and here. Let's take a look in the market. Well, I'm glad Jackie believes me because nobody else probably does at this point. So look at this. Oh, my Lantia. All right, UPS, here we go. Hand to the button here because we're gonna kind of scalp this because it wasn't amazing and I didn't call any options in this because I really don't even know if it has any follow through at all. Here we go, UPS. 
Under 97. Try to let it break. Good call. Big stop, though. But, I mean, this is expensive, but 25, all right. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here, I think we're going to get this down at least through 97, at least, preferably 96. But you could, you could shave a little off right here if you want, because this is very wild. You could shave some off here if you want. I don't know. With the market this day, this could really fall like a rock. Let's just see where the market is here. This market is hilarious. Again, Google's tonight. Got to watch it. Got to watch it. But remember what I said. If even one thing... I actually, I would prefer it to be Google. It might be, I'll look at that chart and we're done. And the reason I say that is because of the fact that it's earlier. It's the earliest of all the ones. Everything else is Thursday night. Here, this is backing up. You could have shaved some off if you wanted to, right down in there. Let's give them one more sell off. One more drop off here. One more drop off. 940, 945. Here we go, nice call. And but 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 I gotta be honest with you, like I said earlier, they're really this did get to 97, so you you could have you could have gotten completely out if you wanted to. I here we go, here we go, here yes, do 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 do. Here we go. Come on, you can keep going. I know you can do it. You could be out if you want. Come on. Um, it's just strange to me. Very, 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 very strange that all last week, five days, plus yesterday is six days, six days into earnings season, and the amount of quality of earnings gaps has been uh, pathetic to me. It has been utterly, utterly, utterly pathetic. And I don't think that has anything to do with necessarily with the market. It's like, is anybody trading right now? I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's been pathetic to the upside to the downside all around i don't think that's indicative of the next six weeks but it is was it was obvious to me even on friday i was like this is really bizarre anyways you could be out of this you could be out of this right in here broke 97 i don't think this flips though so you could still be in it let's take a look over here Someday, someone will believe me. Look at this. We could short this again, but we're not going to do it. It gapped up, so we're not going to do it. But people bought this. They bought it yesterday. They bought it yesterday at the area, really, where we exited. People bought this yesterday because it bounced where we got out. Where we got out, people bought it. Bought it, bought it overnight. I mean, that was like, I saw that last night, too, and I was like, oh, that's funny. Let's look at Google. Again, I don't know what this does, but in an ideal world, tanks. So we'll see. All right, who's still in UPS? If you get out of it, fine. If you're still in it, fine. Gyro got out. Jackie's still in it. Gyro, you've been doing great with the fast exits. I think I need a little more coffee. What else did I want to look at? Oh, the banks. This is selling off too. Again, these are rallies into resistance and are selling off or are going to sell off, which I pretty much said yesterday. So it, it is what it is. Nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. Um, I would like this to go straight down, but it's not even still. So nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. We're still in this. We're watching through the break of the low. It basically touched the first target and broke it. 97, went to 96.77. Let's see if we can get it through there. 
and see, and then just get out once it gets through there with a nice flush. If you want to tighten up on this, you can put the stop at break even. If you want to protect yourself, if you didn't get out, you could do that too. There's another idea. This isn't going to back up at all though. This is either going to go again right here fast or fall all day with the market. But the market is very sketchy here at best. It's hard to believe anything's going to have good earnings this, this week though, except Amazon. There's a possibility that Amazon could have good earnings, but you say, okay, how is anything going to have good earnings? Because the because the outlooks for all of these companies, Apple, Google, all of them. I mean, it's you say, well, how could any of them have good outlooks? Amazon, yes. So even if they end up having good earnings, their outlooks aren't going to be good. But you never know how the stock's going to react. So, so some people could. There's 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 some of these options. If you're going to hold them through the earnings, there's several of them. You got to know it could go either way. Could go either way. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know Boeing's, that's what I'm saying, a bunch of these are out this week. Pretty much everything that's important is out this week, yeah. Will Boeing affect the market though? Maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't think the market's gonna collapse if Boeing collapses, it might, but I don't necessarily think so. Okay, who's still in this? Bunch of you got out. If you got out, fine. Let me just look around here and see if there's anything else to do. And we're obviously not going to day trade Google tomorrow, so I'll look at that for an option. But let's see what's really out that we could day trade tonight and tomorrow. Um, ACAM is tonight. We'll take a look at that. Uh, no, Ford is tonight, Jackie. Ford is tonight. ACAM's tonight. Ford is tonight. KBR's tonight. Juniper's tonight. There's plenty of things here for us to do tomorrow that we can day trade. WW. Let's look at tomorrow morning. CCL is tomorrow morning. That one too. Is that right? Yeah. CCL is tomorrow morning. I think they had pushed it back. All right. Let's take a look at that. There's a million things this week. We just need them to be good. So that's my, my whole point is that even though it's been earning season, it's been bizarre for the start of it because there hasn't been anything that's been like, oh my God, this is so good, this is amazing. We haven't had anything like that. And it's not like I've had 25 things to look at every day. I have, but then none of them are good. So it's like really strange. Here, this UPS is backing up. I'm trying to hold through it. I hope I didn't miss the exit, I don't think so. But again, the day is going longer and longer and longer and longer. Fast exit was down there at 9.35. Twice I told you you could have gotten out and some of you did. If you're still in this, you gotta wait, 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 wait now. Let's look at CCL, because I really haven't looked at that for a while. Or at least two days. <laughs> at least the last 24 hours. Sometimes it's a good to take a break from something. Like, take a break from Boeing today. Don't look at it. Just go about your day, la, la, la. Sometimes it's good to just take a, take a break, move off of something. In fact, I may not look at the market all day today. Sometimes it's just good to give your 24 hours break from charts. And it's just good to do that, you know? You can back with a fresh mind. See everything clearly again. Yeah, this will be interesting. It's tomorrow morning if it actually reports. All right, here we go. Let's see if there's another setup in this. I'm not going to take any more because it's going to ruin my price, but I will call another trade if I see a setup if you want to retake it a second time. You could do 97.50 by, I'd still put it over the high, 100.15. 
But if you want to take it again, you could do that as a second entry. I'm going to just leave what we have here. But you could do it again. Oh, you know what I didn't look at? I didn't look at FDX. Was this a sympathy play? Crap. Dang, it bothers me. Um, this gapped up and fell. UPS gapped down and fell. No, that didn't do anything with that. Interesting. Okay, what else do we have to talk about? What else do we have to go over? Oliver, we were asking about trade calls. The first number is the entry, the second one's a stop. I don't give the front number. I did have time to do that today where we move the stop to 100.15, but normally I don't give the front number and I never write it in the room because you can't take the trade and write at the same time. That would be impossible. But if you're here for trial, you should be observing, not trading. Let's go over this, I'm gonna blow it up. This wasn't fabulous. This really wasn't fabulous. It was worth watching. I didn't know if it hit, it did. It did, we were aggressive, it weren't. Some of you got out here, some of you got out here. Theoretically, it did go to the first target, it was 97. Again, I hope I didn't miss my exit on this thinking it was gonna have more of a movement. I do think it does, but we have to wait it out. Again, we gave it more room up in here. Now we're waiting for a secondary move down. Could take till 10 o'clock. I hope not, but it is what it is. Now it's going to need the 5 minute and probably the 15 too. The spread is tightened up. Let's take a look at the daily chart here and again why this wasn't really fabulous. I mean, here is this. This is this is not as good as I would have liked to see. Not as good as this one back here. Uh, but good enough to watch. Again, the quality lately has really just sucked. I mean, there's just no other way to put it. And I really don't think that has anything to do with the market, quite frankly. It's just low quality. And I did not call any options in this because I really didn't think it was going to have any follow through enough that it would make sense to do an option trade. But for the day trade, it did make sense and it does make sense. And let's see where it goes. So the market gapped up and is selling off. Is anyone surprised? I'm definitely not surprised. I'm definitely, definitely not. SPY is trying to make its way up to the 200 pair moving average. Let's see if it can get there if it fails. Again, critical night tonight for the market. Why Google? What could this do? I don't know. I think it does something pretty big. Why? It's traded in a range pretty much for the last two months. It's not moving out of the range. I like this lower and called several trades in it. Some have worked, some have not worked. And if you've done the trades, they've been very, very expensive. Again, some have worked, some have not worked. So it's interesting to me because my expectation on that with some of the calls I've made on it um, was that it was really going to tank. And if I don't know if any of you remember me discussing that on different videos and things I've done, if you're on the options letter, like <clears throat> I had really high expectations for that a couple weeks ago. And it really didn't meet those expectations, even though some of those trades were profitable. So I'm, 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 I'm wonder if it's going to do what I thought it was going to do in the last month, like on earnings. Like, does anyone remember what I said? I, I don't remember if I did an actual video. Did I do a video on Google or did I just talk about it in the room? Did I do a video? Does anyone remember? If I did, I'll go back and try to find it. But my expectations on that were so high. And, it, and, and even though some of the trades were profitable, it never met my expectations. And I wonder if it's going to do what I thought it would do normally on the earnings. All right, here's this UPS. Again, if you want to take a new trader ad under 98, this isn't really much different than originally, so I'm just leaving it. When did I say that? I'm going to look at when I called the ones that were crazy far away. It was like, it was early April. Let me look. Actually, I can find it by just putting it in Google. I mean, I called crazy ones. 4-1? Yeah, 4-1. No, where was the one? 
one. Oh, it's after that. I think this is going to do what I thought it was going to do the last month on earnings. Now that I kind of remember that I was saying that, kind of remember that I was saying that, and now I remember what I said. Yeah. What did I say? I should videotape everything I say, but sometimes I forget what I say. Um... Sometimes I forget what I say. All right, UPS, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Who's back? No, all these ones I, all these ones I called worked here that I'm finding. There was, I called something, crap, when was it? It was a ridiculous number and it was one of the ones that did not work. Oh, here it was. It was last week. Gosh, every day runs together now being here in quarantine. It was last week. That's when it was. I sometimes go back and forth. You don't see the chart right now. I'm looking on the internet and I'm looking at my email for a trade, Oliver. You know, there's nothing to see. I have UPS up. Here it is. There's nothing to do. If you're in it, you're in it. If you're not in it, you're not in it. Stop is 100.15, and again, you should be observing on a trial. There's nothing to see right now. There's the chart. I was looking at my email, and sometimes I take it off, and I go back and forth for a few minutes. We're not doing anything else today. Anyways, let's go look at Google. It was last week. Yeah, it was last week. But I know I had a talk in the room, and the talk in the room wasn't last week. The talk I had in the room was a while ago. Maybe it was around here. I just don't even remember. But that, those ones that I called was last week. So a bunch of them worked in the last six weeks that I called in this, and a bunch of them didn't. But anyways... That wasn't, it wasn't last week. When, when was the one, when was, when did I talk about this? I don't remember. I, I honest to God, did not remember. And I wish I'd done a video. It, I think it was early in, in, in April and I just don't remember anymore. But I, it wasn't last week when I talked about it, I don't think. I think it's, I think that's going to do. But I thought it was going to do whenever I said it, which I don't remember, March, April, um, on earnings. So it'll be interesting to see. What do you want to go over? What do you want to talk about? Some of you got out of this. Some of you are waiting. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to wait now till 10 o'clock. So the morning exit was here. If you're still in it, you gotta wait, wait it out. Let's take a look at the market. Let's take a look at Apple. I haven't looked at that this morning. Again, this is Thursday. <laughs> this looks exactly like the market. Looks exactly like the cues. So Amazon is taking a tumbly two. Again, glad I didn't do any breakout plays in that because it would have failed. Again, earnings on this are Thursday night. And three days ago or Friday or last week, I said in any, any normal circumstances, I would have gone long this whenever that was a couple days ago. And I was glad I didn't do it. Just couldn't get behind it. Couldn't have, didn't have the conviction. I'm glad we didn't do it. The trade would have lost. Trade would not have worked. Let me look and see why Apple's rallying. And I'm taking this off. I go back and forth all over. That's normal. You're, there's nothing to see here right now. I'm going back and forth, and sometimes I do that. That's totally normal. We're not doing any other trades but UPS anyways. There wasn't anything else to do. Um, I'm just looking up here at Apple. Is there a reason that's rallying? Smartphone sentiment starting to improve. 
whatever. Nah, I don't think it's anything of any consequence. Okay, what we're waiting for now is a second drop off in this. If it's going to have it, and I certainly hope it does, but we have to wait. We'll be looking for it to break through the low. Low was 97.77. No, 96.77. I'm sorry. 96.77 was the low. So we're looking to get through that and then get out. 9.55. This looks good, though. Again, we've been talking and talking and talking and talking and talking about this in reference to institutional money. You see here what this market's doing today? Like, look at this. Like, I didn't even, like, like, it, this, there's, there's nothing to talk about here. Like, this, like, I'm not even surprised here. Like, we're just going to sell off here right now. I mean, I know we gapped up, but it's like, what are you going to do with it? Like, nothing's happening. So it's like, how can you go long? Like, Again, when I was talking about Amazon, like, I can't get behind this. Like, why? I don't, the momentum isn't there. Like, this is, like, pathetic this is what it is, quite frankly. It's, like, a waste of our energy. Like, do something already. And it's not rallying. So, I, I, you know, one day we'll get up and I'll be right. But I have no idea when that is at this point now because I expected it to be way before now. China's discounting iPhones. All right, here we are in UPS. If you want to do it again, you can hit it at 99. Stop, I would still keep it at 100.15. I'm not adding because it would get heavier in it and I don't want to be aggressive today. Doesn't make any sense. We're lucky this is good because I'm telling you, there was nothing today. Oh, what happened with the MRK? Nothing. What happened with the MMM? Nothing. Not good enough. Not, not, not good enough. Let's look at Netflix. I forgot to look at this today. Well, we have time for questions now. Oh, look at this. This is falling. Interesting. That was really a bugger the last week, wasn't it? Now it's falling. Ugh. Uh, Target, when are Target earnings? Is Target doing something today? Target's been strong. It's been one of the few strong things. Target rallied. Target's up. Target was up with the market. I wouldn't go along this here, and I don't know when earnings are, but Target was one of the very few things that you say, wow, this is holding up. Target's holding up. Walmart was holding up still, even though it fell the one day. This goes soon or I'm going to fall asleep. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? We should have a good week. We've had a good week. I've been very focused. I wish there was more things to do. But so far there is not. So I'm narrowing it down to the quality. That's all that we can do. And we were lucky that this set up right today. And for those of you that got out in the first five minutes, good job. Because that was a fast, quick exit. Again, I did not call any options in this. Because I don't think they would have moved enough to make sense. And I really don't see this following through. Now... If the market tanks, this could anyways, but I'm not going to deal with it. And the way the earnings options have been playing out, I said, uh, screw it. Didn't want to do any overnights in this, but this is working out here as a day trade. Here we go. You could take it again right in here. You could take it again. You could be in it again. Here it goes. Nice call. Your kids are delivering Instacart. Oh, that's good. Are they wearing gloves and masks and things, Jackie? I had a food delivery today between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. <laughs> it was the only time open. I got some tomatoes, some lettuce, more keto ice cream. It was the only slot available, 5 a.m. Ah, 
Oh, I know what I wanted to talk about. So we were talking about real estate. So I looked up about, because I'm like, oh, let me look at the prices. Guess what? Tons of places have just taken listings off. So they've just taken all the listings off. So people have just pulled all the listings for home sales, for rentals, everything. Well, they can't keep listings off the market forever. So they put, so you can't even get a gauge of the prices because they pulled all listings off. Can you believe it? Because they don't want to look like they're stale. So, I mean, that can't continue forever, at least here in New York. Very interesting. Not that anyone's moving. Yeah, I'll have my pick, but I want to watch prices. So I, I want to watch the prices. So I was talking to the um, the people that, that I know in real estate yesterday because I was like, you know, here this goes. Um, and it just it just dawned on me. There may have been a, there may have been people that didn't pay their rent in April that couldn't pay their rent or didn't pay their rent. But there may have been people that pay their rent. And this is why what I said last week about the unemployment numbers is going to ring true and the financials. Like there may have been people, now just listen to me, that paid their rent in April, had the money, paid their rent, but had no idea, or their mortgage, whatever, their housing, but had no idea that this would drag on this long. And some of those people will not pay the rent in May or their mortgage in May or may not be able to. Do you know what I'm saying? So like no one thought this would continue as long as it has. So even some people that paid in April are not going to be able to pay in May. Like people thought, oh, 15 days. Well, we're way past the 15 days. Like, do you know what I'm saying? So people may have paid and could have paid or people may have scraped it together to pay thinking things would go back to normal in May. Things are still not back to normal. We don't know when they're going to go back to normal. So I think there's going to be a lot of people that don't make housing payments in the month of May that can't or don't. And I also believe that some people that can make payments are not going to because they're going to use this as an excuse. They're going to say, well, I, well, I can't because of COVID-19. But they can, but they're going to use it as an excuse because that's how people are. They're going to use it as an excuse because they're worried about their finances for whatever reason or they just don't want to. And there's nothing that landlords are going to be able to do about it. Literally nothing. And mortgage companies will just report the leads. But that is going to happen as well. And that's why I said to watch the financials. That's why you have to watch the financials. And that's why I think this continues on into the end of 2020. So as far as prices in real estate, it's going to drag into 2020. It's going to drag into 2021. And right now with no listings on or hardly any listings on, it's really hard to see what the market's doing for prices. But I'm going to have to watch it. Gosh, I hope we're not in this all day. You bugger. It looks fine. Market's selling off. I'm so good at what I do and no one believes me. <laughs> I wish I had done a video on Google. So, in an ideal world, what happens tonight? Guess what? Google crashes. Does everything I said it would do whenever I said it in the last 30 days and does it on the earnings and the market tanks tomorrow. And everything we're in goes green and we make millions of dollars and that's what happens and it happens tomorrow which is Wednesday today's Tuesday you can't get through to complete the online unemployment in New York Wow I actually helped a friend fill it out that lives in California yesterday. I had to, he, he didn't even know how to fill it out. He never did it in his life. I'm like, fine, and call me and I'll answer the questions. I'll help you walk you through it. He was afraid to fill something out wrong. And I'm like, you just can't lie. It's like, this isn't that complicated. <laughs> I cannot believe that I missed the fast exit on this. I didn't have enough coffee this morning. I was up too early because of getting the groceries. <laughs> I was up way too early. Way too early. Anyways, getting back to the real estate. 